Hello and welcome to the third part of this tutorial. In the last two parts we modeled these pieces in here. These ones in here. And in the last part we have done this. And I have finished these faces in there and also the back ones. On this tutorial I'll continue and model this piece in here. And hopefully this part will be a little bit better than the other one. Okay, so let's start it. Uh, this uh, part in here will be kind of like a merging point. I'm gonna add another cube to model from here to there. And in here I will merge them together. Okay, so first I have some adjustments to make in here. I'm gonna add a loop cut in there. And we need this to be a circle. So we're gonna add a circle. Also you could just put your cursor right there on the middle where it's selected. And then add a circle. Rotate uh, 90 degrees on the Y axis. And we're gonna scale it down. Something like this. All right, now I'm gonna take it to here, in there, and just delete, delete all of those vertices. You don't need those anymore. And a really cool tool that you can you can use. Uh, so yeah, have one vertice. Okay, one cool tool that you can use is called. Uh, the bridge edge to loop, bridge to edge loops, because I have to do like faces in here, in here, and yeah, I have a lot of faces to do. So one cool tool is you select two edge loops, Control E, and bridge to edge loops, and as you can see, that is the result. All right, if you want, you can uh, straight up some things in here a little bit. Yeah, something like that. And yeah, that's just fine. All right, now I'm going to. I actually need to scale this down a little bit to this something like that and this looks better. Now I'm gonna extrude this again on the x-axis till in fact till here and I'm gonna add a loop cut in here and a loop cut in here and I'll make that uh, that hole in there by just switching to face select mode and making two holes actually one on this side and one on that side just delete faces all right now I'll select all of these faces and extrude them and scale them up just a little bit. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Back into vertex select mode. And it's almost nice. You just need to make some faces in here. Okay, the same thing for the other side gonna make a face uh, it's actually a square face yeah. made out of four vertices and that's fine okay that looks okay nice now I'm gonna continue from here and I'm gonna add a cube and model 
model that part from a cube. All right. I'm just gonna make sure the scaling on the Y is right. Okay. Uh, into object mode Alt H, so we unhide this uh, that object, and I'm gonna make the scale along Y. Yeah, it it will be it will have the same width as the, as that one. All right, now let's just start modeling. I'm gonna take this vertex in here that one in here in there yeah sorry about that and I will now add another loop cut in here and another one and take this out just a little bit so that will be the, the handlebar. Yeah. Now I'm gonna extrude this out. Extrude that twice and place those vertices correctly in here. Something like this should be fine. Okay, now extrude again. And actually, this is not so complicated, although it might seem at the first uh, look at it. It's not hard. Actually, what basically what we have to do is um, we're gonna create a main base or a frame of this object and then we're gonna add some buttons in there in here and is uh, not actually so hard right another extrusion up in here and just another one in here all right something like that so this is the handle and yeah, the handle of the weapon all right now uh, we are gonna add another cube scale down of course make the same uh, width like this one all right, now scale down uh, shift Y. So you scale down on all axes except the Y X, the Y axis. Okay, something like this. This is where we will place it. I'm just gonna snap, snap to that vertex bring it down just a little bit more and now I'm gonna extrude this out quite a little and extrude again and we'll leave that one for later on now I'm just I just want to extrude this down and make this linking in here Okay, first I just need to delete all of those interior faces in here. Delete faces. One more in here. Alright, now back into vertex mode, then I'm gonna unite this, but I want, um, as you can see in the picture, um, or difference in there which I'll make by just selecting one of these faces extrude and scale it down 
not so much, maybe just a little bit. All right. Uh, oh, actually, wait, I forgot to press E to extrude. Okay, now scale it down. Deselect this part. Snap one into there. Okay, select those vertices again. And I'm going to make a face in here for the moment. Extrude and snap it to this point. Alright, now I'm just going to delete that face that we created earlier. And I will I will use the bridge to edge loops again. For that I'm gonna make an edge in there and uh, G Okay. Grab, yeah, I have a ver I have an edge in there. Sorry. Okay, select those two edge loops. Control E, bridge to edge loops, and it seems that it looks nice. All right, now in here, I need to add a loop cut. Okay, and I, I don't need those vertices in there. Okay, so basically the same thing in here, just we're gonna do this a little quicker, just make a face in here. Okay. And actually it seems we need one loop cut in here. Snap to that one. One loop cut in there. And I'm gonna delete this edge. Okay, this is going to be the edge. I'm gonna bridge this face with this one and let's see if it works. Alright, it did work. Although we need some adjustments in here. I'm gonna select that vertice, duplicate it and grab it. Control Z. Snap to that point on the x-axis and make a face in here we need one vertice in there as well. Duplicate that one. Make a face in here. Face in here. Also delete this face in there. Okay. And I'm, I'm not going to make a face in there because I'm just actually I think I'll just leave it as it is. I'm going to make a face in here. Okay. And basically I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Duplicate those two edges, snap to that point. Make a face in here, a face in here. And another one in here. Also I think we need one in here. We don't have that. Okay. 
So this this looks fine for <coughs> for the moment it's okay. Okay, let's step a little bit further and we're gonna select this loop cut in there E to extrude up to this line in here select this one, extrude down and I think I can bring, I can take this to the right just a little bit, something like this again face select mode and I don't need no faces on the top so I'm just gonna delete them but I now select these two faces in here on the bottom and make sure everything's okay no deselect those bottom ones and yeah sorry I need another extrusion in, extrusion extrusion in here now I'm gonna select these two faces and these four faces, four faces, which are extrude out on the Y, not so much, just just a little bit. Okay. Back to vertex select mode. Gonna delete this face in here. Alright, another extrusion and this time all the way. Face select mode and I will extrude this out again just a little bit, scale along Y. We don't need so much, although it might seem a little bit too much in the moment it it will look nice when we add the subdivision surface modifier okay vertex so this uh, this looks good a little bit of remodeling in here placing those vertices correctly okay bring that down Okay, so that looks good. This is what we've got so far. Okay, I don't need those faces. Also, we're gonna make a hole in here on the bottom, on the whole bottom. So I'm gonna select all the faces that are there on the bottom, delete them. This one actually, no, that one no. And I'll select this loop cut by Alt, uh, right clicking. I know any, choose any view you have, you want. Just some adjustments in here. Okay, select this loop cut, and we're gonna extrude this and scale it up to make this uh, this region in here or how you call it, ok, bring that down just a little bit so that's how this will look yeah it looks nice alright what we need to do next I'm just gonna do this quick thing in here by adding two loop cuts and extruding this face out and that will smooth out and get round when you add the subdivision surface modifier. Alright, we're gonna focus on this part for the moment and for this uh, I'll select this face in here yeah, that will make a face in there 
also I'm gonna press 1 or better 7 extrude that face and scale it down okay till something you think looks like a like a shooting uh, I don't know like that thing in there okay now extrude that down all right add let's just say two loop cuts in here and one in here yeah in there all right so this is kind of how it looks and now let's just arrange this a little bit i'm gonna bring that to the left this one as well Okay, that one is fine. Also, those two are okay. Bring this one to the left. Uh, those vertices. Those two and those two. And now, into face select mode, I'll select those three. These faces in here. And these three on the other side. Right, extrude, scale along Y, and you want this to be quite tiny. Okay, let me just hide this one moment. I'll hide this so you can see it better. Okay, now just delete these extra faces. Okay. The okay, control Z. This one, the, this was the right one. Faces that one, yeah. Did it faces, and I think it will be better if we did it uh, vertices in here delete vertices okay fill up those faces All right, this is uh, this looks nice for the moment uh, I'm gonna make an end gone face in here delete faces Delete edges. Okay, that will be an end gone. And let's just see if you have some interior faces. Alright, no, that looks fine. Back in vertex mode. Yeah, so kind of this is how our uh, arrow looks. Uh, I guess we could make it even smaller actually deselect those one and scale along y a little just a little bit also along x no I will only uh, in fact, I'm, I'm not going to scale along X, but grab this back along X. Okay, that looks like something. Unhide that. And I'm going to fill this face in here. Join those vertices. Okay. And we need a bridge in here, which will be just a simple cube scale down along Z to the proper size something like that scale along X even more okay and along Y uh, you don't want it to be to come outside of this mesh so just a little bit inside 
will be okay and we need those bolts in there which will be just of course how to say like that just simple circles rotate 90 degrees scale down and gonna place that in here okay so you don't need to make this you know so high resolution mesh or something like that uh, this is just a, a mesh that uh, an object that is going to look nice okay something like that make a face in there in fact I'm gonna use this for the other side as well so just grab it till here alright so I will respect the dimensions I'm just gonna for the dimensions here I'm just gonna snap that to there and L to select linked and scale along Y okay something like this looks nice now I'm gonna duplicate this uh, item and move it to the other side okay basically that's how we model that piece in there okay now we're gonna uh, we're gonna unite these two into one object and for that I'm gonna continue from this uh, from this side and I don't need these vertices I just need these ones which I will of course extrude right click scale that up okay a little bit too much so it would fit this uh, this circle in here something like that also extrude again along X to that point extrude again scale it down extrude again along X extrude right click and scale it up and then extrude again along X till about there alright so we're gonna join them on there we don't need any faces on the top okay we don't have any it's a hole in there and I'm gonna count to see how many vertices I need I have one two three three in here one two three four five six seven yeah, I'm just gonna add the loop cut in here and start uniting these faces in here okay seems like I need one more add another loop okay maybe two loops on there and let's start making some faces again this will look a lot nicer and smoother uh, once we add the subdivision surface modifier currently it's not so good looking Okay, something like that. Uh, 
and get rid of all of this extra mesh in there. This tree as well. Okay, basically this looks fine. Maybe we can just grab this up a little bit and okay that's that's okay so kind of this is our mesh in here we are done in fact I just need to take this down right down deselect those bring those even lower lower yeah deselect those bring this one lower and it will look like a circle or we want to make it look like a circle <laughs> okay all right that looks fine Although this face in here it's not so correctly placed in there. But for the moment we don't need any extra loops in there. So I'm just gonna add the subdivision surface modifier and let's make this a smooth shading. Okay, and let's see if we need to uh if we need to correct something, yeah, first one is this, uh, this black spot in here. This is because the normals are not orientated correctly. So you can just select all and press Ctrl N to recalculate normals. And it seems it did work out pretty much. Yeah, in here, seems like it didn't work. And you can press N and see which uh, how the normals are orientated by just selecting one of those two options this is for the vertices and this is for the face normals yeah, face normals also you can modify the size okay and as you can see this face in here has the normal orientated upside so that's not correct Okay, we, we're just gonna flip it manually because it seems control N doesn't work. So, space for searching on a key, okay, space, and just pr uh, write down flip, and we have it here flip normals. Okay, space, flip those normals, those two as well. and I believe that one as well in fact I think I think all of those interior faces where it is come on now okay it seems we don't have a face in there so I'm just gonna leave it as it is Okay, so does it look not does it looks nice? Uh, we need some some loops. Let's just say in here to sharpen this just a little bit. Wait, maybe one in here as well. One in here. gonna sharpen this edge okay those vertices in here are uh, okay just a second I need to snap those two vertices. Actually, there are four. Okay, now it looks nicer. Good. 
something more that you want to add. Let's just see. Yeah, we need some loops in here. One in here, one in here, also in here, and perhaps in here. Don't know, I guess I just left these faces out. Forgot to fill them up. If you didn't fill those, just did now. Okay. Don't know when I forgot to fill them, but yeah. Some more loop cuts in here and in here. Alright, and also I I really need to loop cuts in here to sharpen this uh, this part. All right, and if you want, you could also add some in there, in there, and oh yeah, for this cylinder, of course, we need two loop cuts. Okay, something more. Uh, maybe I'm just gonna scale this up. Shift Z. Uh, scale along. Scale along Y. Uh, I guess that's fine. Okay, and also. I need some loop cuts in here, one in there, one in here, and some in here, like that part for the right side also, uh, <coughs> uh, It wouldn't want to apply correctly. Okay, I'm just gonna edit for the cylinders then. Control Z, add the loop cut. Okay, for the other side as well. Okay, I'll just hide this mesh because it's troublesome. Press Z if you can if you can't add it correctly. Right now we need another loop in here for this mesh, okay? And another one. So it will be kind of like that. Okay, now Alt H to unhide this, and I need one loop on each side. Yeah, one in there as well. And one in here. One in here. Also another one that we're gonna take to the back. Uh, we don't need one for the front size. For the front. Okay, actually, we have some bolts in there that we need to add. We're just gonna add them when we add some details to this uh, mesh. And also, I need a loop cut in here. Alright, so I'll just disable this for a moment and uh, just fix a little bit this part in here. And I'm just gonna select all those three vertices and Alt M merge them at last. Okay, sorry, since I have selected that loop as well, just those three vertices. 
at last yeah if you select that at last make sure the middle vertice is selected last well, so so now we have some triangles in there but this uh, uh, this edge is nice and we don't need an edge in there so we want this to be a continuous edge flow okay now uh, enable that one and let's see if we need some more loop cuts yeah I would say this looks nice but I need one loop cut in here and another one in here okay so that I guess this pretty much concludes the main uh, the main part the base of the of this subject we just have some details to add uh, some details in here in here and we're pretty much done I'm just gonna add right now in fact I can just duplicate this this cylindering here duplicate it bring it in here scale it along y okay I guess that looks nice also I'm gonna scale it shift y up this will be a larger one Okay, I should say that looks nice. Maybe I can just round up a little bit those uh, that bolt. Just select those edge loops and scale them down. Scale, all the, scale them down shift Y so they'll scale down along X and Y. Alright, and I'm gonna add two more loop cuts, one in here and one on the other side. So this uh, looks rounder. Yeah, smooth. So we make sure everything is smooth and we are pretty much done okay let's add the details okay uh, first I'm gonna add those things in there and the way that I'm gonna add them is I select this face in here extrude scale it down and then I'm gonna check in here edge length so I can see the length of the edges and basically I want to make a square so point point oh five or something near it also along Z point oh five okay and the way I'm gonna do this square be a round uh, circle is I'll just divide it select this middle edge dissolve it and use this uh, this other cool tool call, called to sphere the hotkey is shift alt s or alt shift s bring it all the way up to one and that makes us a circle which we're gonna place in here now we don't need to put it like right in there okay so the way we're gonna do this is by extrusion we're gonna make it look like we have a 
bolt or how you call it in there. Which are gonna extrude it, bring back a little bit, extrude it again, scale it down just a little bit, extrude again and snap it along Y back to the front. Okay, now as you can see this is quite messy and it looks like uh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Why? Because this is too close to the to this edge. I could just select the edge length for the moment. Okay, and you can see that if we bring it to the middle that looks a little bit better. So you just correct this by adding some extra loops, uh, extra edges in here. So divide that one. So divide this one. Join them. Join these two. And that looks a lot better. Also, maybe we can do the same thing in here. In fact, we didn't need to do that. We don't need to do that. Last one. Okay, so this looks fine. And that's how we're gonna make all of those bolts and pieces and yeah, but we're gonna make them in the next part, so see you next time.